we've fallen in love with South Africa and if you've been following the videos you'll see we've given up two hulls for two wheels and we've done a pretty good job of motorcycling around a lot of the Western Cape with a touch into the Northern Cape and the Eastern Cape but one thing we haven't done very well at all is go and see the animals and so And because the animals are all a bit scary, we signed up with Sama Tours for a guided tour up through Botswana, across and down through Namibia, back onto our old haunts in South Africa and back to Cape Town. We cheated a bit, we sent the bike on ahead. So goodbye bike and hello aeroplane. With our tourist hats on, first stop was Soweto and Nelson Mandela's house. And there we found out how you can get yourself your own pad for about 160 quid. The problem is they blow away and sink into the sands, but nonetheless, better accommodation than the Voor Trekkers. To one today. So here we are at the Qualata Game Park, just outside Pretoria, in our lodge in the wire fenced game park to keep all the hungry animals out. And this was our place for the night. First up, let's dance! Let's not bother was the considered opinion of the participants. So after that first glimpse of wildlife, we went out to see the wildebeest. For our first outing, we did quite well, seeing a good range of the beasties. But if I'd actually read the instructions, I'd have known we had a lot of ground to cover each day. Long straight roads with cows and donkey carts and elephants crossing long and straight but you had to keep your eyes peeled and occasionally a corner. So a quick thrash north and we were at the border of Botswana. Oh we're crossing the river Limpopo. Oh and they're not allowed to cook here. course before you can cross the border you got to wipe your feet. Chilly start to the morning, 6.30 in the morning. Need to have an early start to get 450k under our belt today. I'm standing on the Limpopo River. This is South Africa and this is Botswana and that's the border we crossed yesterday with no problems at all. This is the lodge the lodge by the river. Everyone's turned out for an early breakfast. And note the log fire. It was remarkably chilly for Africa. So after a riverside breakfast of cornflakes, bacon and egg and monkey poop dropped from the tree, we hit the road again. Okay, we're at the service station. We are leaving the service station that is on the junction of three countries. Okay, so we're in Botswana and this is four countries meet here. Zambia, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Not so very far later, we turned up at the Nama Lodge and boy, was that beautiful. And as we hadn't been on two hulls for a few days, we thought we'd go for a boat ride and see the heffalumps. Mm. 
the elephants are all chowing down on the grasses out in the middle of the river. So come finish eating time, they head back ashore where they can have a bit of a kip, I guess. Maybe a small glass of wine. And this little guy, he's going to have a glass of milk. They like to get you up early for these safaris so you can sneak up on the animals. So crack it on, we were off on another one. And this is not camouflage, it was perishing cold. It was worth getting up early because we saw a good range of beasties. Lions and things and no idea what these guys were looking for. But we would places to go. And Victoria Falls was next on the agenda. First up we went a bit nuts and headed out on a Zambezi river cruise and you just have to not worry that there's a dodgy looking Yamaha and an old Mercury between you and this. All this moisture flying around, it's best to get togged up properly. Our drone had been stuck in the back of the bike for about two and a half thousand kilometres by now, and of course it's a no drone area. So, next best thing. The falls are pretty spectacular, but look at the size of that canyon, chewed out over the ages, and that river goes all the way to the Mozambique Channel, so we must have passed some of it at some point. And so, we'll leave this video here now, with a quick look at the swanky Victoria Falls Hotel. Really pretty spectacular. If you get a chance, I'd highly recommend it. We'll be back in a week or two, taking the trip onward from Botswana down through Namibia. A quick scoot up the sand dunes, out to see the seaside, and then back to some spectacular Western Cape scenery and a bit of off-road biking. Thanks for watching. Bye! And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you dare.